channel my name is Kia Alani if you're new and we're doing another story time welcome back or if this is your first time thank you for clicking on the video and hopefully you like it at the end of the video and you consider liking comment and subscribe and I'm sorry y'all if my energy is down I really want want to I really wanted to record but y'all I'm sleepy it's like 10 o'clock at night but I still want to record so we finna do another story time if you watched, I think it was the last story time, we introduced Goofy, and today we're going to talk about the goofball, Jamal Goofy. And then, y'all, that's how y'all know I'm just tired, because I'm drinking water, not liquor, but water. I ain't drinking no water today, for real. So, let me take a sip of my water. We're going to get into the video and talk about this goofball, Jamal, retarded asshole. Okay, so let's get into it. So, um, y'all know, okay, y'all know I worked at McDonald's. I told y'all a little about that. I have more McDonald's story times to talk about. But y'all know I talked about Nikisha. I mean, Nikisha was friends, and then we just kind of fell off, and yeah. So I told y'all that I met Nikisha, I met Goofy through Nikisha, so let's go into the details. So I think this was, I want to say this was before Nikisha went on maternity leave because I told y'all she was pregnant. Um, So I told y'all at the time, the job, the McDonald's I worked at, the lady, I said her real name in the video, Sonya. Sonya was plugging anybody. If you worked at McDonald's from this, from 2000, whatever, before, let's say before 2016, because I think that's when she, um, that's when the other company had came over. 2016, 2017. If you worked at O'Hare McDonald's before then, you know about Sonya. Sonya was just plugging everybody in. So, um, literally, just Sonya, people was like just giving Sonya, you, you were just, say say y'all my friends. I would just give y'all Sonya number and I would tell y'all to say, I would tell y'all to text Sonya, be like, hey, Sonya, I did application. I got your number from such and such. I was just checking on the status of my application. And Sonya would tell you, come in for an interview. However, it was a time, it was two times, actually, though, that I had somebody do that for some. I had somebody reach out to Sonya. And when they came to the end, three times, when they came to the interview, actually, Sonya gave them a hard time. So, yeah, I, I don't know. But anyway, for the most part, Sonya was plugging anybody up at McDonald's, right? So, um... Nakisha had plugged a few girls in from her school. So, one of the girls was Goofy. One of the girls was Goofy. Um, the other two girls, they don't really need a name. One was Goofy. One was my boo, but I don't think I have any story times about her. One was this other... One was this other girl, and she might come up in my five when I got fired story time, and she really didn't have nothing to do with what I... She had nothing to do with me getting fired, but I don't know. I might just bring that up just to show y'all the type of petty shit McDonald's used to be on. Anyway, but yeah, um, Nakisha had brought three girls to the job, right? So Goofy, so Goofy was one of the girls. So Nakisha like, hey, Goofy, this is Nakia. Nakia, this is Goofy. So I'm like, hey, girl, she had girl, what's up? She was sad. So yeah, I think at this point, um, Nikisha went on maternity leave. So y'all, instantly, I felt like Goofy was a fucking Goofy, but I didn't realize how Goofy she was for real. Um, okay, so I used to just notice a little stuff about Goofy. I just didn't. I, I thought she was like okay, okay kind of. I just didn't. Um, uh, like y'all know how some like people. I don't know if it's just me. Like okay, y'all know how some people you just people and shit about them like. Like, okay, for example, I just didn't like how Goofy used to talk to people. Like, not like she, I don't know, I feel like she was just trying, she was a mean girl at her. Like, she used to talk talk to customers any type of way. Um, She used to say wow shit about some of the workers. I just felt like, which is fine. I mean, if you're going to talk your shit, just, you know, be able to talk your shit in their face too. Don't be no scary bitch, but... Not calling her a scary bitch, but I don't know. I just feel like she was just, she just did and said unnecessary shit sometimes to people. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, she was cool, but she, like, uh, like, how Nikisha was my friend, Goofy was never my friend like that. But, you know, Goofy was really cool. So, I don't know why, y'all, this job, it was so hard for us to get our, um, 
for us to get our checks, like direct deposits to our bank accounts. Literally, I had a bank account. I got my first bank account at like 16 or something like that. I had a bank account, but y'all, they made you to say, oh, go get the form from your bank and the blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't know why. I didn't start getting actual checks. I mean, direct deposit payments from this company until this company was bought out by another company. But before the end, and then I didn't used to work Fridays. I didn't used to work Fridays a lot of times. Um, and our checks came out on Friday. So every Friday, some people... Okay, so what, what will used to happen is the people that was up there working on Fridays... Okay, so I'll say I'm off, right? Say I'm off and Nikisha, she was just to work on Friday. I'm like, hey, girl, can you grab my check for me? And I'll meet you at, let's say, Clark and like the um, Blue Line or Green Line or whatever fucking line it is. Like, that's how it was. If you didn't work on, like, paydays, you would try to just meet somebody. You would try to get in contact with somebody to have them bring your check. But it got to the point where management, they stopped all that shit. So, we had to, like, physically come up there and get our check. So, one day, it's payday. Yeah, I need some more. I'm sorry. I don't want to buy me some of them liquid IVs. I be seeing all the, the YouTube people using. I want some liquid IVs because I be thirsty. I be dehydrated. Okay, so one day um, I get off work and then I head on my way up to my job to go pick up my check because like I said, at this point they stopped it where nobody could pick up, nobody could grab our checks for us. Like they stopped that shit or whatever. So I go, I make that long ass ride mad, y'all. My job, that's how you know I was just young and really thirsty for a job. Bitch, you can pay me to do that shit today. I don't care how much you're paying. But y'all... It, it used to take me like two hours to get to work from my um, from my school. And it probably, like, maybe because the time I was getting out of school, it was like rush hour and all that. I, I don't know. But like I said, I was I was young then. Today, bitch, I would never. So I ran after two hours, go pick up my check. So when I get, you know, when I'm walking um, inside my job, I see Goofy. Oh, yeah, I got a bird. I see Goofy. So I'm like, oh, hey, I see her, like, inside the job getting her check as well. So I'm like, oh, hey, Gucci, hey, girl. Um, um, what you what you work today? She, no, I'm just getting my check. I'm, oh, okay, she, you work? No, I'm just getting my check. I don't really work Fridays or whatever. So she, oh, what you gonna do on girl? Nothing, take my ass home, take my black ass in the fucking house. And what you gonna do? She, girl, I wanna go shopping. I'm, oh, okay, where you finna go? She, girl, you ever been to Rosemont? Now, if you're not from Chicago, Rosemont is... So when, when we say Rosemont, we're referring to Rosemont Mall. It's like a big ass mall. That's where all the like big name brand stores. You got Burberry. Um, is it a Montclair in there? Montclair. Um, I ain't been to Rosemont in years. Um, it's a lot. It's 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 a lot. Bitch, Google Google on um, Rosemont Mall. But anyway, um, but there was some other like affordable little stores in that too. But yeah. She, I want to go to the mall. I want to go to Rosemont. No, she, have you ever been to Rosemont? I'm like, yeah, I, I, you know, I've been to Rosemont. She, girl, well, if you ain't doing nothing, you should come with me. I'm like, um, I ain't doing nothing. So, yeah, if you want me to come with you, I'll go with you to Rosemont. I'm probably not going to get nothing. But, yeah, I'll go with you to Rosemont. That ain't no problem. She, yeah, because I ain't never really been. I don't really know what I'm doing for it. I'm like, okay, it's cool. Like, I'll go with you to Rosemont. No problem. So, we, um, you know, get back. So, we leave out. We take the blue line. That one stop, get off at Rosemont, get on the shuttle bus, bam, bitch, we have Rosemont Mall. So, um, woo. Oh, I'm so sorry, y'all. Oh, I'm so sorry. Tomorrow, when I record, I'm going to be more injured. Anyway, so we go to the mall or whatever. So, she and I just, um, I, I knew I wasn't buying nothing. But she and I just, look, we go to the store, we go to the store. I don't think she bought shit either at all, but whatever. Um, so we just talking, uh, we just talking, we just talking. Mad job. So at this point, I think this was Goofy first check she had. I gotta stretch my legs at y'all. I'm sorry. Ooh, I'm sorry. Okay, so yeah, I think this was Goofy first, or maybe it was her second. I think maybe it was her second check that she had got from McDonald's. So at this point, I just, I got the a little before Goofy. So this is probably like my, I don't know. It's probably like my fourth of Fifth check, maybe even six, but if, if anyway, go. I was a little, I was there a little before Goofy. So, um, yeah, so we meet in a mall and she's just talking about, you know, 
she want to go outside this weekend and how much her checks being outside for shit. So, y'all, she said her checks, hey, man, I didn't ask her this information. No, I think she asked me, she, how much was your check? And I told her, yeah, my check probably was no more than $400. If that, 400 is really pushing it. My check was probably $300, y'all. 400 is probably pushing it. So, whatever my check was, I tell her that's my check. She, girl, that's it. That's it. I'm making a lot of money. I'm making all the money. And I'm, how much is your check? And I think this bitch told me her check was six something, but ain't no way in hell your check six something. And my check three something when we work the same amount of hours. How I manage her, I'm gonna just say, should I say, I'm not gonna say her name because she's gonna come up with my next story time. How I manage her, um, Crybaby, let's call her ass Crybaby. How I manage her, Crybaby did our schedules at the time. It was just no way in hell, it was just no way in hell, Crybaby made that bitch check mean bitch hours with her checks for six something it was no motherfucking way it was no way she was lying then before y'all be like how you know she the new overtime y'all i'm telling y'all crybaby the way crybaby did our schedules there's no way in hell that bitch even if you could stack them clock extra five minutes y'all the bitch was lying it was no way in hell her check was six something but i'm just like oh well, okay oh, okay like sure whatever Whatever you say, whatever you say, baby. I'm not finna argue with you. But yeah. So we don't find nothing in Rosemont. We leave the mall. Um, I remember, and it was cold outside around this time, y'all. It was cold as hell. I think it was snowing or something like that. It was like a skating rink that was near the mall. We had walking around the skating rink. We just really talking on some one-on-one. -on -one. So we um just walking around the skating rink, just really talking. I had discovered um that she had knew my cousin. Y'all know Leslie from um, she was just in the story time I did recently. Leslie, if you, if you, if you've been here, you know who Leslie is. I found out that she know my cousin Leslie and we just talking, right? We just talking. So the thing about Goofy is, I'm going to say it, this bitch real name. I started catching on early that the bitch had a problem. Either she was, I ain't going to say what I really think wrong with the, the lady, but either something really wrong with her, she's just fucking liar. Um, so, yeah, uh, I noticed that, like, early on, but we, you know, at the little skating rink, we talking or whatever, and she says something like, okay, yeah, oh, let's, we might as well just go ahead and, like, go, like, go back towards the train because I need to get home. I'm okay, yeah, that's cool, I understand. Um, what stop you get off at? Whatever stop the lady got off at, I can't even think right now because I'm sleeping, but whatever stop she got off at, she, oh, yeah, I'm going to take, I'm going to get off here and I'm going to take it to such and such. But I don't live there. I live in the suburbs. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, yeah, I'm real familiar with the area such and such. Now, whichever story Le Leslie been in, y'all, the stories I told y'all about Leslie, I told y'all that I told y'all that before Leslie moved in that area, I lived in that area. So I was already familiar in the area. So basically, she was saying that she had to go to her family house and her family house stayed by Leslie. That's how she know Leslie, somewhat. I'm like, oh, okay, well, yeah, yeah. Let's hurry up, because I don't want you, you know, over there it's too dark in that area, you know. They don't call it the holy city for nothing. They get it cracking. So let's go ahead and get you home so you can go back to your little suburbs, right? So, yeah. um, Yeah, yeah this bitch is weird, y'all. It just got weird so quick. So, yeah, so uh, we go home. So um, she go her way, I go my way. She texts me when she makes it to her family house, right? She makes her family house. She texts me. And yeah. So imagine this happened on a Friday. I didn't go back to work. I think I went back to work Sunday, but I think she was off Sunday. Whatever. So I go to work Sunday. She's not there. So I go to school Monday. So I so my last time talking to her was that Friday. So I'm in class Monday morning, y'all. In class. Da 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 da. On my phone, eating chips. Um yeah, just not really doing shit for real. So she texts me and she say, hey, girl. So I'm like, I'm like, hey, um, Goofy, like, what you doing? She, uh, oh, my God, let me hurry up. Here. I'm so sorry. I'm like, hey, Goofy, what you doing? She, um, nothing, just in class, girl, ready to go. Y'all, I told this lady, LOL, again. I told this lady, L-O-L, told the bitch L-O-L, right? After I told the bitch L-O-L, she, yeah, okay. And I'm like, huh? 
she a girl, find somebody to play with her, something like that. I don't think those are her exact words, but the bitch got weird. She find somebody to play with her, or I'm not playing with you, or some shit like that. So I'm mad confused on what, what is this bitch talking about? So, um... I called her, y'all. I called her, and I would never forget this, y'all, because I called her. Because when I called her, the whole class stopped talking to listen to my conversation. I'll never forget this. I called her. Ring, ring, ring. I'm calling. She, hello? And I say, I say it real calm, y'all. I said it so calm. I wasn't even hyped. I say, Goofy, who are you talking to? But my voice was so, I was calm and like real stern when I say the whole classroom just got to listen. Like, who the fuck she on the phone with? So Goofy like, nah, because I, cause she, cause I don't even know what the bitch was talking about. She nah, because cause you you doing so much and I don't understand what you saying LOL for. Um, again, Goofy, who are you talking to? Because ain't no way you talking to me. Who are you talking to? Like, who you talking to, Goofy? So, um, she, again, I don't know. I'm so confused. Y'all, the bitch telling me I shouldn't tell her LOL. I don't know what else the bitch wanted me to say to her. I'm um, okay. Like, you're not talking to me, but better yet, don't talk to me because you just being weird as hell. I don't even know you for real. You just basically being a weird, you being weird. And I get off the phone. Well, but imagine I didn't raise my voice. I didn't call, I, mean, I did call her weird, but other than that, I didn't call her nothing else. I just told her I want to talk to her because I didn't understand, like, Y'all tell me if I did some, something wrong. All I saw the ladies was LOL. So I told Nikisha, I'm like, man, your friend weird. Like, I told Nikisha, what happened? She, yeah, that is pretty weird. Oh, uh, yeah, that's real weird. Like, what the fuck wrong with this bitch? So, um, yeah, I get to work. I think I seen that the next day. I don't think I seen that that day. I think I seen her the next day of work. So, yeah, I see her the next day of work. I'm not um, really paying no attention, so... Um, it's just, I, I'm really just talking to my friend. I'm trying to see should I give her name because y'all seen that on my vlogs before. Um, I'm going to just say friend one. So I'm talking to friend one. Friend one, y'all seen that on my vlogs before. So it was friend one and then we had a friend two. So I'm just at work talking to friend one and friend two. Man, y'all, um, friend two also was um friends who also went to the same school as goofy but they were like in different grades like they were like a year apart or something like that i think um friends who was like younger like a year younger than me me and goofy so at first it's just me and friend one at, at work talking then friends who walk in with um with um goofy not like they came together it's just it was more so that thing like they got the train, like they go to the same school, probably got on the train at the same time, that, that type of thing. But not like they was like friends like that. Don't get me wrong, they were cool, but they weren't like buddy buddy. But you know they were cool. Um, so it's me and friend one. So friend two walk in, and friend one speaks to friend two. She hey friend two, hey goofy, and friend one is like hey, and I'm just like hey friend two, and then uh, she hey, and I just looked at goofy, I ain't speak to her because I'm. Cause bitch, you you a fucking goofy, and I don't want to sign for your goofy ass. I didn't speak to bitch, so um goofy just looked at me and keep walking. So friend one like, why you ain't speak to goofy? I'm like, cause y'all, I'm this bitch is weird as hell. So I get to tell that friend one and friend two. Well, friend two eventually she you know put us up that clock thing and came. You know got her register. She up on register with me and friend one and friend two. Well she is she up on register with me and friend one. So it's me friend one. Uh, friends too, and whoever else is on right, I don't know, but we just talking. And I'm like, this bitch weird as hell. Like, I don't know what's our problem. I went to the mall with the weird ass hoe. She mad because I said, LOL. Well. Like, the bitch is just weird as hell. And they're like, yeah, that is weird. I'm like, yeah, so I don't want to talk to her because I don't understand, you know, what's the issue. So, yeah, also, y'all, at this point, um, y'all, at this point, I had, I was talking to my cousin, Leslie. Cause I'm like, oh, um, this and this is before like the incident even happened when the bitch got weird about the LOL thing. I'm like, oh, you know, um, goof. I'm steady from the call this bitch by her name, y'all. Her name is so ghetto, just ghetto. Ugh. Uh, anyway, I'm like, you know, goofy. And my cousin, like, oh yeah, I know goofy. She stay um such and such. I'm out. She well, she don't stay there. Her people stay there, but yeah, she's right there. And my cousin's like, girl, she do fucking stay there. That's she live there. I'm like, girl, she thought she live in the suburbs. She girl, no, she live there. But anyway, yeah, that's another like she just used to lie about look. So I'm just now at this point I'm catching on to how she a liar. I'm catching on because of you know she lied about check. 
And my cousin said she lied about where she stayed at. And um, imagine my cousin said she been in her house, everything she, girl, I know, like, she lives there. She don't live in no damn suburbs. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so eventually time go on. I ain't fucking with the lady. I ain't fucking with her. So, um, she got fired. I don't remember what, what, what she got, what she quit. I don't know what happened. I don't know if she got fired or quit. Either way, she, she wasn't at McDonald's no more, right? She wasn't at McDonald's, but we was all friends on social media, y'all. So, she was like, she was sneak dissing us McDonald's workers, y'all. She was talking about some, yeah, um, yeah, I had left McDonald's to get something bigger and better. Um, what you say? I, I left McDonald's to get something bigger and better. Motherfuckers ain't on shit. Just basically dissing McDonald's workers as if she wasn't a McDonald's worker 24 hours ago. So, y'all, this is another example how the bitch was just delusional and a fucking liar. So, y'all, me, friend one, and friend so we all had a group chat, right? We all had a group chat. So, friend two had sex the group chat. She, y'all, guess what just happened? So, we like, what? So, y'all, and I have the voice message to this. I'm gonna link the voice message to, <laughs> i'm gonna link the voice message so y'all can hear this so yeah um as you can see basically oh you know what i don't even know if i can link the voice message actually because i think we i think i think they say her name in a message i'm not sure but if i don't link it that mean if i don't add the audio to this video that mean her name was said in the voice message but basically Fran Sue was saying that she was at McDonald's. It was a McDonald's out west on Western. She, I was at McDonald's in the, at the drive-thru. And I'm like, man, this voice here, this voice sound familiar as hell. She said she pulled up. Y'all know you get to the first window, you take your order. Second window, well, no, you, you drive through, you take your order. Then the first window, you pay. Second window, you actually, you know, grab your order. She just girl sound familiar as hell. So she said, when I finally pull up so I get my food, it's nobody else but the, <laughs> the Goofy, I was at this bitch name. She said it was the Goofy, we, the Goofy, it was Goofy. So she said Goofy looked like she seen a ghost and she like, oh, hey, Goofy, I thought you had a different job. I thought she was done McDonald's. And Goofy like, oh, oh yeah, this is my second job. This is my second job. Imagine, bitch, five hours ago on Facebook, you were saying that you don't work at McDonald's, so which one is it? But if that was pretty much it. I think the story was pretty short. But, um, yeah, that's how me and Goofy friendship ended quick as it started. Because she was just a goofy, weird-ass, lame-ass bitch. Goofy, if you out there, girl, I hope you, you didn't grow up, girl. And we grown. Ain't no point in lying about shit these days. But yeah, y'all, until next time, I'm finna go to sleep. Until next time, bye, y'all.